Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are once again in Satisfactory today. We're going to pick up where we left off on the aluminum yesterday and see if we can't get that going temporarily. It means we're going to have to manually load in some coal and some uh, bauxite, but we have that coming back to the wheeljack factory so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I do eventually want to belt things together, but I don't know where I'm going to do it. So aluminum is going to be a tomorrow problem or a future problem for me. Uh, but right now we just want to unlock the all clad sheets so we can make some faster belts and get the hover pack and unlock a few more things in tier seven, tier seven, I think. Uh, shout out to Mind Trip Media for the 100 bits in the lurk. Thanks ever so much for your support. As always, really appreciate it. Loki Loki was the first in the door. Sweet Sandy, good to see you. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Uh, we're just going to jump right in. Uh, it's a typical Wednesday. We have a new Spawn Chunks episode out on Monday. Uh, I'm still editing the new episode of the Citadel Cafe. And uh, everything else is just going along as, you know, as normal. So let's jump in. Might as well talk and build stuff, right? So I think what I need to do is set up a, a bin if I'm remembering correctly. We have uh, a luminous solution being made here. And I would say that this is probably full. Yeah, real close. So we are going to put that into these machines here. And they're going to be making aluminum scrap. But they need coal to do that. So we'll bring over some power from the other side. That's about right. Those are now on and we've got water coming out and aluminum scrap coming out. So what I'm going to do with that water is I'm going to tap it into uh, this other water bit over here. So we're going to just create a long pipe. About there. Change that to blue. And I'll remove this and just bring this along. Oh, that's the wrong blue. Pipes. Now we'll probably have to put a valve in here in order for this to work correctly. So the valve will have to be in between. And I've not used valves in a while. Hopefully they work just as well in 1.0. Mm, logistics valve. So these obviously will keep the water from flowing uh, in the wrong direction. And we can also um, control the amount that goes. So we can look at this and say how much we want. The flow right says um, to the right, but it's, it's obviously flowing in that direction. Um, and we can control how much is going to go that way. Uh, this is going to say 120 and 240. So we can actually tell it to only allow 240. And then we should be able to place pipe mergers or pipe, what are they called? Junctions there and there so that will send 240 water back the other way and we can't balance water the same way that we balance belts. 
So, what we will do is figure out how much water this needs. This is 180 and 180. So once this is going, we should be able to dial back the water coming out of this stuff here. How did you get up there? Uh, I really wish they would just get rid of those. Um, so then we can have this dial back. So we'll recycle the water in uh, and have it be part of the system. Oh, this isn't hooked up. How are you getting water if you're not? Oh, I must have I must have disconnected it. Cool. So now we need a bin for coal. And we already have a bin for bauxite, so maybe we'll put the bin for coal, like, right nearby. Have that come out that way. And then this will end up being a splitter. Oh, that's going to be farther down. I wish they allowed you to kind of put splitters on some sort of stilts. It would look a lot better. And what's the rate? Uh, 120 coal per minute, so 240. So it's another Mark III belt. I'm surprised that this looks so tidy now that I look at it. Practice makes perfect, fish, I guess. And then, then this needs the alumina solution. And the I think the plan was to just line it up with this one. about right sometimes it snaps and sometimes it doesn't I really wish they would be more consistent with it So that should all flow. And that is it's gonna be back up. I guess that's sort of flowing down. Uh I don't think that's gonna be a problem. We'll see. Sometimes it's at, sometimes you get helpline, sometimes nothing. Uh, pipes are weird, yeah, 100%. Hopefully when they introduce uh, straight pipes as a feature, they'll fix all the snapping problems. There's also a, a problem with um, splitters on lines not snapping the way that I would like them to as well.
So that needs coal. And then that should start rocking, although we have to figure out what's going to happen on the other side here with the output, the scrap and water. So scrap we have to figure out. I think the scrap is going to go this way. So we can maybe jump on this here. It's going to be a merger on the wrong bar. And the scrap is coming out at 360 per minute. We can't actually handle that. That's going to be two separate belts. Well then. Uh, we'll have to wait until we actually get enough to upgrade the belts. So the first one is going to work okay. not look like it lines up. That's going to be okay. But then this one we're just going to take out on its own for now. Eventually we'll have the belt speed. Wait a minute, those are the wrong belt speeds. 360, that's only 270. This needs to be all mark four. actually happening with the scrap I think I think it goes into constructors or smelters I'm trying to remember it is not constructors it must be oh no aluminum casing so no it has to be turned into ingots so I have to smelters Foundry, aluminum ingot, and it goes silica. Right, I don't have the alternate aluminum recipes. They are, there are alternate recipes. Aluminum ingot. Pure aluminum ingot. Smelter. That's what I did in my other playthrough. It's alright. We've got... We've got... Um, silica happening. That's fine. We can make that work. So, we've got the silica over here. That's getting binned. And sunk. So instead, we can do... Uh, overflow that way, silica this way, and that will get the silica over this lane, so we can put foundry here. Uh, sure. And this is going to go scrap. This is going to need aluminum. And it's only 90 scrap per minute. Man, we're making too much stuff. I should have just gone with one refinery. 
60. Man, this is way more complicated than I remember it. So I guess we'll do... What I should do is I should beef this up. That's a much better number. We could still do two. What I've got, I've got 360 per. So I. Yeah, we could just. I could just bin some of it. I could just put some of it in a bin. And then what's. How do I make sheets? It's copper, right? Mm hmm Copper. Do we have an alt recipe for that? Or like, is there an alt recipe for that? There's not. I have to use copper. Okay. Well then. Sixty-one twenty. What was that? Thirty, thirty. So I don't really need. The problem is you end up with so much of this stuff, and you don't need nearly enough here. So it's all right. Um, I have one more of these. J. Chris, hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. The assembler next to this, I guess. Flip the other way around. I know this is a satisfactory stream, but the new Pale Garden items just dropped. Really? How did the pale ar item gardens just drop? I thought they... Oh, is there a snapshot from 1.20? 21.2? What are they, Loki, if you don't mind me? Uh, Loki, you've got a... Um, uh, you've got a... Well, I can just find it in a link. Hold on. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you know that it's a satisfactory stream, but I mean, M Minecraft is also my job. Uh, Minecraft.net. Community news, newest news. They really bury these news articles. I wish they wouldn't do that. Um, Java edition 21.3 release, new chest drops featured. Wow, those are weird. Ah, so they are going with some stuff. Eye blossoms. Neat. We'll wait until night and you get to see them start to bloom. That's cool. So it's like a little gray flower and then it turns into a blossom. I wish the images were larger. Resin? Interesting. Not the color I was expecting. Stairs, walls, slabs, chiseled, it looks like. Huh. In 
they just they keep on giving us cool stuff to talk about on the Spawn Chunks podcast. I mean, like, I'm not going to complain. The resin is really interesting. I don't know about the bricks, but the, the, the orange block is really interesting. The problem is, of course, they're going to give you stairs and slabs and all that kind of stuff in the bricks, and they're not going to give you stairs and slabs in the blocks. Creaking is stronger and moves faster. Ugh. Interesting. It's a really cool plant that it um, opens up at night. That's, um, where's that image? That's, it's cool to have a flower that does two things. That's a really neat idea. In a texture pack, if you could, if you could, uh, with um, shaders, if you could add like a light source to that, that would be really cool. Same with the resin in the trees. Huh. Interesting. I was hoping they were going to go for mushrooms, but I'll I'll allow it. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. This is going to make sheets. Silica 100. So I don't know if I need to do this. 90 aluminum scrap. Silica. That's coal. Silica's down there, so that's going to come over this way. Probably put that here. That's what? 75. Mark 2. This we can probably squeeze down there. Or I can just use the top one. Of course that doesn't fit. That would be too easy. It's alright. We'll just use the top one. And now we need power. Of course, it's way down here. That's going to be making that. How much silica are we actually outputting here? 50. So we'll get a little bit of both. That's fine. That might have to be a programmable splitter at some point. And then this is going to need the ingots, which are going to be straight out of here. We might as well just do all of them. And then this is going to need copper, and that is going to have to be out of a bin, and that's fine. Okay. 
so I need coal and copper. Now we're turning all of our copper currently into sheets. And that's happening over here. So I can switch that to fill up the bin. The fact that I can fly this far is a little, little odd. Craftable creaking hearts. Oh, that's cool, Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all we need to do here is add in a splitter. So this is 20 per minute, and this is making 20 per minute, but it's downsized. So let's put in a splitter. Why are you not lining up? And then we'll do another bin. So this needs 20 per minute. This is going to make 20 per minute. I need to bring this up 30 per minute. It's only going to be 15. Is this doing? Yeah. I need 30. That's going to make 30. It's going to take 20. The rest is going to go in here. And that's fine. Cool. So that will fill up with copper. While we go get the coal. And the easiest way to do this with the coal, I love that this thing makes noise, is going to be to grab it from the end, because we are taking 480 coal and we're only using 240. And so what happens in here is that the coal is just like staggering along and it stops here. And this is just a regular splitter. So what I want to do is we're going to add another bin out here, I think. Where is going to be a good spot for it? Maybe we'll stick it in here for now. Or I could put it here. Actually, here would be better. Where is that output? That output is down there. Mm -mm. Forty. Not gonna line up very well, is it? Nope. Oh well. It's coal in the top. No. Cool. Now, question is. Can I replace this? I think that's still connected. Why can I not 
interact with this thing. There we go. Overflow. Coal. Yep, okay. That's the coal. So that should take the excess from down the line. Weird how this stutters, but then this doesn't. Where is that being split to? Is that just being used for the bend? That's just being used for the bend. Yeah, I don't know why it's Stutters like that, it's weird. Oh, you know what I should do? This should be the big belt all the way down. And that way should work. So now we've got coal coming into here. Nice. Now, do I have coal kicking around? around? I thought I did. Oh yeah, I know, Sweet Sandy, that it's controlled to replace. The problem is that it, the where I was facing, like it wasn't registering do have coal in here. I've got bauxite too. I need to get rid of these alien things. Are you busy doing that? Let's grab a summer sloop. Which I can't do. the summer sloop in here and change this hog protein hash protein and I've got hatcher protein and spitter protein So that gave us more than we would normally get, right? Because of the um, summer sloop. So we're doubling our output. But they can take those 15 and I can make capsules. So for every one I get now two capsules. Those are really gross. It looks like ground beef in a plastic container. Yeah, I think one of the biggest things I have to, to give for feedback on the game, Sandy, is that the hitboxes need to be tightened up. Yeah, the Wormbo. Yeah, it looks... If you've ever seen a... Uh, in a movie, if you've ever seen what they use for, like... The prop of a skinned snake? That's what this reminds me of. Or brain matter. 30 capsules. So we can put those in the awesome sink, which I guess I don't really have an input up here, do I? It's down here.
And I've got one power slug. I can do that too. I love the purple smoke that comes out of it. It's pretty cool. How come I can't grab them? Like, my hands are missing. I can't... How come I couldn't grab them off the belt? Free up some inventory space here. Good, 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 good. Bauxite. Coal. Now I don't have very much ingots, so I'll have to go get those. It'd be a pain. Probably close to being out of plastic again. Nope. Crap. Wrong thing. Oh no, we still got plastic. Do we have a lot? No. Okay, so we've got silica moving this way, and that should be the only way it's going, minus the overflow when it fills up. We've got coal moving down, which means this guy is going to be making aluminum ingots in a minute. And then this guy has already offloaded the copper. And so then these guys are going to have to go into another bin. Seriously? Invalid shape. I probably don't need the big one. That'll handle any overflow, but first it's going to go, uh, hmm, I guess we can't really have two overflow, can we? What are we doing? We're doing 50 and 50 is 100. I don't know what it's going to do for this. I think it'll probably split half and half between the overflow. I guess that's fine. I don't really need a ton of this. As long as it prioritizes the production, we should be fine. So there's the scrap coming along. Is this draining our buffer? No. So the only thing left to do is I have to uh, uh, sink some of the extra scrap. That's what's left. So it made some, and then we have those. Okay, so I need to go grab, I'm gonna go grab those ingots before I go on a break here, just cause it's nighttime.
to delete that too. We didn't end up making a copper facility at all. So as you can see, all of our stuff is quite far away. So it's not the best setup, but at least get, it'll get us. The goal is 300 all clad sheets so I can unlock the hover pack and unlock one other tier. There goes the train without a other driver. There we go. Okay, should be good. So if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour, and that is normally when the sun goes down in Satisfactory, so that we can go uh, a little bit longer in the daytime and not have to worry about it. Can I catch this? No, not quite. Oh, I just missed it. Sometimes if you land on the train, you can actually... Oh, that's the wrong way. Sometimes if you land on the caboose, you can walk your way up to the front. Wheel jack. Save changes. Cool. Uh, give me five or seven minutes, folks. I will be right back.
Alright, I'm going to turn off the self-driving here. And that is the bauxite train. So we'll grab maybe a little bit more bauxite. Grab some more coal, which is on the top floor. So everything over there is yellow because I think it's got jammed up. We're not sinking enough of the bauxite or the aluminum scrap. Yeah, so these guys are backed up, which means that this is backed up. Yep. So what we need to do is take this bottom one. So this top one is doing 360 and this only needs 90. So we need to merge these together. So we'll do... Can I do this? I'll do another line over here. And we'll have a smart splitter about here. So that's about right. So we'll do another merger here. You actually can't merge them on the same lines just yet because we don't have the big enough line. Oh, nope, that's not right. Uh, and then that will have to go down around the other side. Is mark two. Okay, cool. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, and then this we will send around the other way. And then I just need another merger here. turns too sharply. What's coming out of there? Silica?
Uh, that is one, two, three. Don't think that will reach. Too long, it says. Too long, too long, too long. So now we just have to do this with this smart splitter here is uh yes so scrap none and then overflow So it's still not going to be quite enough, but hopefully good enough. Uh, and this is using 30. What's this making? 60. I could increase the power of this. I need silica, which is coming. I don't even know if I need this. I probably don't. Uh, but now that we have all this going, and these guys are going to be producing 120 water per minute. It's only at 13%, though. 14%. 13%. I can probably trash that. Yeah, we still can't empty the machines fast enough because the belts aren't fast enough. So when these two combine, uh, they go up into 720. And Mark 5 belts are not unlocked yet. Although... We can go do that now. Yay. That did not take long once we got it up and running. M, hello, hello. How are you? I need to re reschedule that train to make some changes. I added another train when I don't I don't think I need two trains going. Uh, hover pack is the first one, and then logistics mark five. So, I'm probably going to do the logistics first. Never thought I should have used the depot for that. I guess I just thinking because it's right here. I'm so used to going to storage systems. Six hundred. All right. Well, let's use that then. Uh, in case. I really want to get to some building today, too, and this will help.
Milestone reached. Fixit dedicated this milestone to the conveyor belt and lift mark 5. They may be implying that your factory could be further optimized. While they are correct, I believe they are setting unreasonable expectations. Hmm? Having all of humanity very definitely relying on your work is a lot of pressure. It's a good thing I'm here. Wow. Ada's vote of confidence is stellar. Uh, how long do we have? Four and a half minutes. And I need 100 sheets, which I have. 100 of those. 100 computers. Gee, if I only knew where there was 100 computers. Over to Sunstreak, here we go. Oh, there's the train I need to reschedule as well. Now, was I smart enough to put a bin down here? I don't think I did. I think the bin is upstairs. Is that full already? Oh my gosh. I guess it's just a single bin. This place is starting to look a lot cooler. Hello? the rest of that tier computers at least 100 computers scrap the hub it was 100 of those 100 computers 100 all pod sheets and there's one other thing on the list I don't remember what it was Motors, 250 motors. Another minute and a half, I bet. Then I can get over to um, our copper ingots and back in a minute and a half. Because that I, I don't think we added a lot. Take those while we're here. This little area seems to be the temporary setup because it's the only place that has water. So any kind of weird little thing that you need that needs water. This is, tends to be where I set it up. Our Syrian, hello, welcome in. Uh, I do not, I'm about to unlock the hover pack. We're just about there. Let's 
speaking of, there's the entry. I just made it. My claim was accurate. I'm really glad that we took the time to build this place out. It makes this stage of the game so much easier when you like know where things are and you know how you need to go about making progress. Oh, they're all in here. Oh, uh, I guess I'll just switch that. Hover pack me. Milestone reached. The hover pack draws energy from nearby power connections and so can only be used in their vicinity. It provides an excellent vantage point of your work, which you clearly need. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have optimized that obvious problem by now. Snarky. Snarky, snarky. Hazmat suit. I'm not terribly worried about that right now. Uh, blenders would be nice. So we should start making... Um, aluminum casing because we can do everything else so aluminum casing and then tier 8 what's in there there batteries that's a ways off and I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do those nuclear advanced all that stuff is this if I get into this stuff I'm gonna go back to my other save because I think we're good so we'll go control development system so we need aluminum casings being made in the background Please give me hover pack. I need heavy modular frames. Oh, it is a huge quality of life upgrade. Yeah, I use it a lot. I wish the range was farther. I don't think they've changed that. Excellent. Now, is there anything else here that I need? I thought I had a rebar gun, but I guess I don't. That would make enemies a lot easier to get rid of. Do I have any rebar? No. We'll make it all. I just realized that this is pulling from my dimensional storage as well. That's really cool. Even just crafting, it pulls from there. It'd be good if we have to deal with baddies. Not that it's difficult, just time consuming. Colon sulfur, gas mask filter. I'm pretty low on those actually. What's that? Fabric and coal. Let's grab a few of those. I feel like I should move this stuff. So I don't have any coal. I need more fabric. Coal is going to be over here. I 
use up the rest of our biomass. Now, is there anything else along here? We need hard drives for turbo fuel. Shatter rebar. AI limiters. I thought I was making those. The programmable splitter would come in very, very handy. I think this is AI limiters. Yes. Computers, jeez. Everyone's a critic. I think Sandy might be stepping away, Arsurian, with the puppy. <laughs> I don't know about driving crazy, but I'm, I'm sure it's making uh, things a little bit different. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move all of this up to another bin. I feel like some of this could be kept a lot closer. I feel like maybe... This is really handy for clearing up your inventory. Find it very useful. I also want a place up here that I can add things to this line. Oh, we can actually improve this line now. I just realized. This is all currently built as red, I think. Yeah, so if I go back to primary, we can now do a faster main line because this thing I find was stuttering a little bit. Somewhere down here it was not fast enough. We seem to be doing okay now. Oh yeah, here we go. So from here on up, what we need to do is go with the higher tier belt. And this is now 780, so this is just wild. Uh, I don't, it's now this though. Stairs, and I have to delete this temporarily. That's five. I have to do all the little bits.
That is not white at all. I like the look of the tier five belts, all white. That comes in here. That's Mark V, so now I just have to Mark V all this stuff. And that will keep things flowing very nicely. Man, it, mind you, that's pretty ugly. We'll have to do something about that. Doing for ticket 17. Holy crap. Oh, we put in those um, those DNA capsules, didn't we? I think we did. Yep. Cute, but a lot of energy. Yeah, I think that describes most puppies. Sweet Sandy. My, my buddy was um, sending me a video this morning. He's got a little Yorkie. And he was trying to convince the dog to go go to the washroom this morning and the dog just wanted to play. He's full grown, but he's still like he's only like a year or maybe two, but he's very much puppy. I was just happy to be outside, wanted to run around. Uh what was my next step? Finished all that. Did the thing. Came up here for a reason. Oh, tickets. Seventeen. Seventeen tickets. Well, we can do that. And... Don't care about those. We've got six and three. How many do we have left? 13. Might as well just finish it off. I'm not a huge fan of some of this stuff. It's very terrestrial for what I'm trying to do. Um, these are neat. You could probably layer them to do some cool stuff. Like if you wanted to have like a color background, you could probably cover this up. You know, like if you had beams. Like if you just wanted to have some sort of like color in there. That could be kind of fun. Just a different texture. I mean, they're fine for you if you're doing like a terrestrial looking fast tree. I'm making mine look more alien, so. And then what was the other one? The other one was customizer stuff. Patterns. I do like these floor patterns. Footpaths. I find these very cool. Those are fun, fun to mess with. So let's check our train, let's see if I can get this coming and going. I guess we need to find where the other trains are. Which one's coming? 
grapple is coming so grapple i'm going to disable and mirage i'm going to reprogram so we only want the one mirage train going to the different different stations and we've got um mirage as a station tell you what they are train station mirage so i, I might change the train name to something else maybe astral train what color is asked i think he's like a beige though oh no he's purple he was a decepticon never mind um who is the Suikin? I never heard of him. Rail racer? Huh. I guess there isn't an Autobot train. I gotta decommission you, my friend. You're not unloading because it's already full. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be jammed full of bauxite. Yeah, and so is that. Honestly, I can probably spare and just remove this. And then here comes the one I wanna reprogram. So it's probably gonna stop at Sunstreaker. I really wish the the rendering on the trains would be better. Like it totally disappears sometimes. It's really bizarre. I don't know if there's anything in the game that's specific to vehicles. Texture shadow, far distance, post processing, anti aliasing, foliage load distance, light quality, view distance is far. I wonder if it's tied to conveyors. Does anybody know if there's a train setting? Hmm. It's hard because I don't know whether it's a visual setting that I've got incorrect or if it's a bug. All right, edit the timetable. How do we want this to go? Uh, the next stop is Mirage. Then we want, so we want Wheeljack and then Grapple and then Mirage and then Sunstreaker. So wheeljack, grapple, mirage, sunstreaker. Wheeljack, grapple. That should work. This is only car two, and this is gonna be full of rubber, so that's fine. This is gonna be full of I also need to change this wait time. Train station, timetable. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Wheel jack. One load unload has been completed or wait for 15 seconds. Freight wagon is fully loaded, unloaded. Save. Save. So I've removed the other train. So now we should be just having the one train go back and forth and doing everything. Nice. Let's go see how our all clad sheets are doing and I need to add the aluminum casing. run into something. It's not that. It's bauxite. So this is making ingots and we're going to have another little guy here shooting out. I guess we'll have him come off of here. These are just made in instructors. Needs 90 ingots. So this is not going to be efficient at all, but that's fine. And then we'll just put it in here, I guess. Now we just need to do the whole bauxite thing. Bauxite and coal. I think that's it. Everything else should be working. Oh, and I can upgrade the belts now that I'm here too. So once these are combined, which is at this point here, we can upgrade these to the five belts. I need to start using the belts to get around too. And then we can also upgrade these little guys. So it's coal, bauxite. Basically I need to run for all of them. Do it once and be done. build a few things as we go. Grab the coal 
first because it's close. Mark 6 spell is crazy fast? Yeah, I bet it is. I saw, uh, I think it was Co Carnage was doing some stuff with belts. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that extra coal. Um, I forgot that you can just build stuff out of the ether when you've got um, the dimensional depot. Like, I think, like, I'm not going to be able to build a bin. I don't have any parts. And then it's like, nope, you can totally do it. So this will be the last time I do this today. We'll just see what we get. Yeah, they do look cool, but what are they made out of, though, Dan? They're, it's crazy what they're made out of, isn't it? Like, really hard to get. That's not the right kind of jump. Fix it triangles and the time crystals. Yeah. Not not at all hard to get, really. Interesting. We haven't really set up a permanent um, alien technology uh, production. I feel like I'm going to do that in the other playthrough. I feel like I'm reaching close to the end here for what I want to do. I want to finish up some builds and stuff, but if I can, if I can start trying to play on the other playthrough, I'm, I might bring this forward, but the problem is if I copy all this into the other playthrough, then the problem is that um, the hours won't come over. Like, it'll still say the other save is like 1,100 hours when it's really more like 1,500. So this is moving around. So the only other thing that I need to look at is the water. Because if these are producing 100% or close to it, 7%. Because the water? Yeah. So they're supposed to be making 120 water per minute. 180... 180. So I need 120. So I should be able to just shut this guy down. And that should allow more water to flow out of here. Already we're increasing the production. Now, uh, I could beef up this production. Because this needs 60 and this needs 90. So that's 150. We're not doing 150 silica though. I think the max is 100, so I have to keep this at whatever 100 is. So that's our limit because of our silica output.
don't know whether that's going to be a problem there. It probably isn't. I think we're good. I may want to put those in separate bins. That is enough to have our aluminum going in the background. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. McScrewgun resubbed at tier 1. 42 months. Ahoy, ahoy. Been a while since I could be back on. Don't you go falling because of my sub -aversary. Well, I mean, it is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. I mean, it's it's an excellent way to be to be subscribed, I think. I feel like I might have to go up higher here. It's kind of close. Don't know if I'll keep that. I may just raise the whole thing up. All right, so that's aluminum ticking away. I need to go check to see. I think it was 100 casings. I've only got 44 right now. Plus, I need to take a break because the sun is going down. 400. Let's just put this here. I know I could put it higher up on the screen, but this is just easy. And 1,000. Hundred com fifty computers and hundred AI limiters. That was for the MAM, I think. I wish all the buildings had lights like this. Thanks again for the sub. Looks good, gun. Really appreciate it. Programmable splitter unlocked. This upgrade to the smart splitter provides additional options to improve conveyor belt logistics. So these are really cool. So for anybody that doesn't know, not only do they look awesome, they've got this cool panel on the side, but uh, now you can have more than one thing. So I could put like iron ingots and then I could add an item and have um, adaptive control units. I can add an item here and send quartz. So like you could have a whole bunch of stuff coming into one splitter and have a list prioritized left, right, center. Uh, and that includes things like the overflow as well. You can do everything would go left or all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's very, very, very cool. Uh, and they are expensive to make, but they are very, very handy. 
Anytime says Vic Screwgun. I'll likely do it again in about a month. Well, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. Where's our train? Train is too far away. We need a proper brake train. Uh, let's grab that. Let's go green. Folks, I take a break about once an hour, and this is going to allow me to pop back and forth on the brake train. You get to ride the train while I'm away, and I get to reheat my coffee. And while you're out there, why not tell a friend about the stream? We're trying to grow the channel, uh, and uh, I'll be right back.
Time to turn off the old self-driving. Get rid of that so it's out of the way. So that the train can do its thing, which it looks like it's potentially doing. It's now it's probably got another Oh, I guess you're not stopping here at all? That's weird. Why is it going to... I don't understand. That's a mirage. <clears throat> It should be going in the right order, unless it goes bottom to top. Grapple, Mirage. Yeah, Grapple, Mirage, Gun Streaker, Wheeljack. I'm not sure why it didn't stop. Maybe because it's full? Thank you, Sandy. Oh, my list didn't save. That's annoying. So we're not quite at 400. list again. So I can actually just dump the stuff in here. I can do plastic, that, computers. So... Another 150 computers, 600 plastic. I don't think I need those for anything. This might give me a chance to move a couple of these things too. Two, three, four, five. That might fit. Yes. And black powder stuff. Oh, I didn't have enough computers. All right. I know where they are some. Still don't find that this stairwell looks the best. I would like to maybe revisit it in the future. Jetpack fuel with me. I 
Gasp, you might fall, maybe. Yeah, I really need to add like a inventory clearing bin up here. I guess maybe I could use that other one. Well, that's the input. Uh, I guess we'll go the other way then. Um, a little one. they gave longer lines for like the the height markers Probably turn that into aluminum stuff. Really, I can't even make the aluminum. Oh, yes, I can. Aluminum casing. Oh, I need ingots. I have ingots. That's weird. Oh, it's an iron ingot. Never mind. I thought that was aluminum. So we were just jamming away all of the excess materials that we're not using. It's still stuttering, which is weird. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I think we are good. I'm going to go check those aluminum casings one more time. Yeah, I think it might be easier just to have this be an entirely different level. That's the 100 we need. I love that you keep the momentum of whatever it is that you were traveling on. You can really start to go if you're on a train. You scoot jump off a train. Milestone reached. 
Several parts more efficient and powerful than the human brain can now be made to compensate for many deficiencies otherwise encountered in future development efforts. <laughs> the blender enables you to mix and or combine parts and fluids for more complex recipes. Nice. Most importantly, project part number six, the assembly director system, should be produced and delivered to the space elevator as soon as possible. A crew gaming. I just did that yesterday, but with the aluminum sheets, built an entire run of constructors to make fluid containers and ran sheets into the line. Nice. Yep. Yeah, aluminum really opens things up. Uh, so that means now we have access. Um, the only thing tier seven is not quite done. Um, do I have a hundred of those? I might even be able to do that. So we can probably finish tier seven today and that will bring me up to snuff. Not that I need the hazmat suit. Those are just a pain to do. And that's fine. So batteries, radio control units, supercomputer, sulfur, scannable. We already could do that. The blender is the thing that I really wanted. All right, cool. So now that we are up to snuff, what I want to do is take a look at Sunstreaker and kind of go through what we're doing and make sure that everything is kind of coming in at the right, the right rates. I believe it is, but I've got everything sorted in a spreadsheet. So the first thing that's happening is we are smelting copper. We've got 160, 120. So yeah, 30 in each, it's 120 that's coming in. So I wanna make sure that the, um, the guys downstairs, the miners are doing their job. It should be 60 a piece. Yeah, however, this is looking mighty ugly. So I would like to somehow make this look a little bit nicer. I feel like we could maybe put an angle on that. Maybe we can do some half foundations. I may even want to bring that out a little bit farther. Just trying to think about a way to either design or contain or do something more interesting with this. I feel like this could certainly have a different shape to it. Now we can't do... We could do a full foundation, I guess, up to the top of it. floor hole in that maybe uh, and then extend this over the front so I'd like to hide what's going on there although that's going to run into this machine too 
I wonder if it's going to be better to actually have this machine point in a different way, a different direction. So if we point that that way, we could probably contain the whole thing better. This would still have to point that way. But we could potentially hide that better. So I could move that into the center and then extend this out over it. Kind of get the look that I want. This, I think, would even this up a little bit too. Make a little square block. And then I just don't know how we're going to handle the output from this guy. I really wish that they would put these miners on the grid. That would help us so much. In terms of like building stuff around them. So that could squirrel off that way. Actually, this would probably end up being like this. Oh, that's really close. Nuts. I thought that was going to be better. Well, I guess we could do this. And have the merge outside of it, I guess. Or I could do a double door here. probably better. And then just have this move a bit. Is that gonna is that not gonna work? There we go. That goes in like that. This is gonna get powered again. And then we can build this out to be a little bit different. Start with the basics. And actually, maybe we'll add an angle here. that back there. I think if I do it out here, that makes sense.
Uh, no, that's fine, because I can have... I'll leave this flat. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have, like, guardrails on it, like that. And then we'll just move this along here. Oh, come on. Try to get some sunstreaker colors in there. Now this unfortunately goes up kind of far, but uh, I could probably keep this. And maybe just give it like a railing or something. Distance, you're not going to notice that, I don't think. I guess here we'll just go the full, full width. Probably the simplest thing to do. I kind of like the carbon steel machines. I think they're a little bit less... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They just they stick out less? They kind of blend into the background more? Guess we should do carbon steel inside too. don't know about the top of it. The top of it feels kind of funny. Maybe what I should have is more carbon steel on the bottom of this as well.
That's just empty, so we could totally just have this be um, foundation. Because the carbon steel side of the foundation is nice and dark. foundation there. Is that going to be underneath everything? It's fine by me. Feels a little bit better. Yeah, I like the dark foundations of this detail too, Sandy. I do, I do, I do. It's just missing some depth for me. And then it just feels this weird railing kind of feels unnecessary. Maybe I'm just going around the wrong angles. I like that a little bit better. But we'll go with um, carbon steel here. They're both doing the right thing. I think that's pretty good. Feels a little bit more like a finished thought. Now, I'm not crazy about uh, the tower, so we'll change that up. I don't mind the bottom part, but I feel like we want to switch this probably to plane. At least from here. Honestly, I don't even know. I'm not sure if that really matters. I 
I wonder if it would be better if this was higher. Yeah, I think that separates it out a little bit. I like that. This just doesn't even exist. To pull that down from the top, I guess. That's all the sides there. Now this same thing, I kind of feel like maybe this top part could be the band. Although the hole there is going to make more sense. Yes. Hmm. I wish we could do more vertical stuff. We could do beams, but I wanted to do more angles. front the way that it is. Very simple. And I kind of wonder whether we want to have um, the same kind of railing thing happening up here. So like that there. I don't think we can do the angle. do one of those blue foundations. It's probably good enough. It certainly looks better than before. Could use some more detail, but certainly looks better than before. Uh, now along here, now we could do that in red. We did the insides in red, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And so now what I wanna do is get rid of some of the, why is that happening? look and see what's happening inside there. I feel like all my walls have those markings on them that resemble doors. How do you get the plain walls? Um, that's a stack of the one meters. So you can have these one meters and you just stack them up. It's a lot of, like it's a lot of parts, you know? So it's expensive compared to just using the the full ones. You can also go with um, a different type of wall. So you can go with, um, hold on, grab my, so there's these two, right? But then there's also the concrete wall. 
problem with the concrete wall is that you can't always get the bright colors. So you can change the materials and then you've got concrete. Right? Uh, that's my son. The son's over there. Right? But, like, then you go to color something and, like, that's red, but then that's red. Right? So, like, it depends on how you want to do it. Now, you can... I used to think that you could do the white on the walls, but you can't. They don't respond the same way that the foundation does. Like my special white for there, it doesn't do the same thing here, and I don't know why. It's so like if I take this swatch and select this one, it's black. It's close, but it's not really deep black. But nothing I do in here will change that. I can make that negative 100. And it still doesn't. It gets close. But not quite. So you can use those. Yeah, it is expensive, it's, it's, and it's better. I find every once in a while it's cool to have the um, the little door pieces or indents. I agree, though. I wish they would give us a better a better look. So I want to make sure I'm not screwing up the inside when I'm changing the outside. And one of the things that we have not done yet is put the back on. So I think what needs to happen is I need to mirror what's happening here. This goes all the way up, I think. See, now here, I'd probably switch. Even here might look better as a solid piece. That's a, that matches up. So this is going to actually be the power room, I think. So we can start to control stuff in here. And then this is just as simple as putting in your thing here and then Moving it. So you lock the hologram. That should connect to the beam. Right, so what part? Oh, it's this. That's what I was seeing outside. This is concrete, so I should change this. and then make it the black. Don't know what that does underneath. It's probably gonna be in a separate machine, so it should be fine. So I'm going to leave that open, I think. Got two walls. I'll probably change this to the flat wall. And does that go all the way up on the other side? Oh, I've got this angled part here, because that's probably an outside piece. Yes, okay. Four meters.
So you can see where the power is coming in, and we're going to have to start to reroute it into what will be this little power room. We'll use some nodes and stuff in the ceiling for that. I'm not sure about what's happening here. I guess this is not going to be here. I do on the back. Standard. That actually probably has to stay yellow. Right. So worry about the little thing sticking out later, but uh, now that we've got that established as where we want to put stuff, we can think about where things are being powered. So there is the power. That's got the power for the lights, and it also has the power for the machines as well. So they're not on separate circuits. Not that I think we need to put them on separate circuits. But it would be really cool to be able to turn the factory on and off without turning off the train station. So we're going to want the lights probably closer to there. So put the light thing here, maybe. And that goes up and over this. I think we have to delete a few things here. I don't mind going through the floor and the ceiling, but there's a little gap here we could utilize. What I should do is put a back wall on this so I know where this is. So we've got another foundation and then the first glass piece. So there's another piece of depth to this. But that's because of the stairwell. Um, we are going to need it because of storage. So I'll at least put it in for now. And then we've got... That's two meters below. up to there okay and then this on the outside I think is just flat I added a window to it but there's really not much to it and that's because it, I guess we could put another stairwell in wouldn't be the end of the world maybe I can figure out a way to do it nicer too Missing all kinds of stuff over here. All right, I need to actually have some better materials on my hot bar. Let's do a 
colors. We are bouncing around right now between that one, that one, I guess maybe four and then five. And probably carbon steel. And what else am I using a lot of? Oh, the blue color. Learn something new every time I watch you play this game. Well, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. All right, so let's mirror what's happening on the other side as well. Kind of get our bearings for what's happening down below. And another one on the other side. Foundations. This is assuming there's going to be a stairwell here to go up and down. I find I do the same thing here that I do in Minecraft and that I'd rather travel a couple of blocks to get the um, like an eyedrop of uh, or a pick block of what I'm looking for before I'll actually go into the inventory hunting for it. Not sure if that's good or bad. Getting real dark. Now the thing is to stop doing my automatic key press, trying to get into the into the uh, creative menu instead of or the customizer menu when it's all in my hotbar now. This is where this comes in. Oh, did I disconnect it somehow? Where does this have power from? Somehow still connected. I must have dual power coming in. I don't think it's still connected there. Maybe it is. So what I would like to do is have this be a little bit easier. Um, I don't know if I want this to go straight down into the ground. That's probably the better way to do it. Which one is it? It's this one. Nope. So this is the old trick. Although, I need to go on a break, too. That's pretty good. Thankfully, we can see the lightning bolt. Did you know that when you don't take a break at nighttime, it makes
makes a cosmic real mad? Joel, I'm using interesting facts as a cover. Cosmic will get mad with no break at nighttime. I mean it. They look mad. <laughs> Sweet Sandy says, hello, darkness, my old friend, and Cosmic with 200 bits for that stream sticker. Uh, thank you very much for the reminder, Cosmic, and for the support. And you're right, uh, I will throw down a train and go on a break. I was just having fun, completing a thought. Can you make um, chrome trains? You absolutely can. That's really cool. Uh, timetable, uh, wheeljack, mirage, save changes. Cool. Once again, folks, time for the brake train. I uh, will be back in just a few minutes.
Cosmic is not mad, just disappointed. I haven't heard that line in a while. Thanks again for the sticker, Cosmic. Thanks, Sandy. We are uh, we're gonna see what we can do about the Sun Stricker factory. Oh look, I can get off the train and not fall to my death. That's handy. I don't know whether this is still delivering plastic. I guess it is. Yep. So I'm not crazy about that. It's not my favorite. Uh, but there's not a lot I like to do with these. Like th These feel very open. I'd like to recess this. But then if you do that, then the rails are off, right? So I can do that by adding like a layer on top if I wanted to. Um, I guess we could do half foundations. Could try something like that. Well, that actually sticks out by a bit, so we could could actually do that in a way that looks good. I mean, that's okay with me. I don't know if that looks good on the other side. Uh, hmm. We may have to stop it for the the other bits. Could probably get away with a full ramp foundation here. It's almost right. I guess maybe something with a little more of a a border on it, maybe. Like a beam. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Don't mind that. I guess down this end, maybe we just have to pick a different spot. It does look better when it's nestled in like that, so maybe we just put one down here. here. Oh, no.
Definitely looked better the other way. Or... I guess this could just continue, couldn't it? That actually looks pretty good. Then maybe here we'll add the bit on the end. Maybe this would end up looking better with a yellow tip to it, but then maybe that won't. Oh, and that's turned the wrong way. Crap. That's annoying. Uh, could I do... Hoping not to have it cover up one of the holes. We just we don't have small enough pieces in the game. One of the things that they would really, really get a lot of love from the community on is a bunch of different uh, potential like um, decoration parts or just smaller increments, I think, in general. Now this unfortunately would need a staircase. Now everything inside would be hidden, so I could go with like one of these ramps. It looks all right. I would probably line it up more with some of the walkways. I feel like you can connect to these. Yeah. So we could have something like that here too. Which is also not terrible. How does that look from out here? Mm, it kind of adds a terrestrial vibe to it. I may or may not keep that. I do like the simplicity of just having a staircase here though. Or actually the ramp was probably going to the things less. Um, That makes sense to me. Maybe we'll have two. It's all right, it's not great, because of course it's gonna stick through the bottom a little bit, but like you can't really see it. I wonder what the um, stairs look like. They look a little bit more intentional, but the problem is that that's really going to stick through under that. Again, not as like, like it's a big deal. I think I prefer the ramp. I wish they gave us ramps that had um, railings on one side. That would be cool. The only other option would be to lay in like a foundation.
Oops. So how did I do this, have it work out on the other side? Oh, that one overlaps. No. Yeah, there's one here that overlaps somewhere. Oh, I did it on the end, okay. Realizing that I am I built the hover pack and I've not been using it at all. This will make this build a lot easier. So I was hoping to do something custom to make this look like it was part of a very specific power thing. Um I don't know what we could do here that would make it look good other than maybe have like a beam or something right now it's just coming into the ground I like the fact that it's pretty straight the only other thing I can think of would be to use a beam and just try to hide it Which, in all honesty, is not bad. And I might just go with, like, a carbon steel. And maybe we'll also, for my own clarity and forgetfulness, we will do a little sign on here. Yay, they're not upside down. Um, I think we'll go with yellow here. Oh, I never thought about that. That's kind of cool. What if we reverse them? I wish this would be. The UI stuff is really frustrating sometimes. Ooh, I don't know. What do we like better, chat? Make sure they're both the same luminance. Yep. Yeah. I think maybe the one on the right looks a little bit better. Yellow background. So the orange highlights. Right for sure, says Bam Bam. Yeah, I was thinking more of the far away thing. So I think we'll stick with this one. I don't dislike this. I just think from a practical standpoint, I think that looks better. I 
I almost wish we had like a way to make the bottom a little bit like a, give it a base, you know? But I don't know how we would do that. Anyway, uh, this is going to have to come all the way over here first before going up into the lights. So we need to get this into this room. And I'd say we're probably going to have to go up against this spot there. Oh, that's going to work out great. I think, I think. Because we can leave this open. Oh, wait a minute. That has to have a ceiling. That has to be there. Nuts. I guess I'll have to go through the floor. Uh, I guess we could go through the wall here. Yeah. Squirrel our way around. So that's where the power comes in. And then we've got to get it down into the control pieces here. So I think it's probably going to be better to take the control bits and put them on this side of the room. Um, so we'll take it from here. And can I attach these things to this at all? Oh, we can. Okay. That'll be okay. So I'm just going to go straight to here and then probably there the hover pack is a little slidey and then from there we can go probably straight to the wall guess we'll leave that exposed for now. Uh, we then have to have a circuit breaker. I don't remember how these work. So there's a priority power switch. Circuit breaker priority. I don't think... Do they all have to be priority switches or can I make this... Enter name here. Hold on. Let's put you there. Why are those turning on and off? That shouldn't be a thing.
Oh, you know what? It's not the, it's not this one. It's another smelter. It's that that I'm hearing. So to connect those two, if I name this. Um, okay. Now, does this come up here? It does. Okay. So I only need to have one of these somewhere as long as it's connected. I don't think we really need a priority power switch in here, though. Um, this, I think, is going to be connected to the whole network, which it is through the train line. So I can put this somewhere more central. Really, all I need here is a power for... Um, for Sunstreaker. So they'll come in here and there'll be the light switch. Probably on the wall here. I don't know if I want this room to be open to the back like this. So I'll move this a little bit farther forward and then I gotta think about where it's gonna go. It has to get back up to there so we can reroute it probably over here now why are you not letting me do So that should be fairly straightforward. We'll just bump this over here. I say that. So that's the in and that's the out. So it would make sense, I guess, to have these at the back of the room. So I have the EMP here. It's to come in on the A. Maybe we can make like a little circuit box out of it or something. I'd like to hide some of this if I can, but I've not had a lot of experience with these. Uh, beam support could help, yeah. I'm just trying to get it... I'm just trying to get all this other chaff out of the way. I can make it look pretty later. I just want to make sure that everything is in like, like the right organization. So this is just going to be Sunstreaker. And then this has to go right next to it. See, now that's... I don't know why it's not snapping to the right thing. Basically, this has to be between the power coming in and the lights. So that's what's happening there. We've got power. 
I think we got power. No. What are we not hooked up? That's coming down from there. Does this not have power? That's my main grid, but it's smaller? What's going on here? Why are you on a different grid? Who the what the huh? This should be a lot more than 1500. That's odd. What's what's going on with my power? Why is my capacity dropped to 1500? That's not right. That's not right at all. All right. Check power. So that is just powering the Caterium. So this guy is being powered out of that. These guys are still being roughly powered. What's this? This is... Oh, that's where it's coming from. That shut everything down. Okay, so now from here, we need to go over. Go up and over. Oh no, I don't want that to go through. Hover pack was such a good idea. And so this can now come to here. Should mean that we've got everything sorted. And then this can also just go to there. Can untangle that and get rid of this and that. Some of this stuff is going to shut off, and that's fine. Uh, why do you not have power, though? Oh, because I need to flip the switch? Yes. Orange lights. Make sure that those are working. Yep.
Okay, that's good. Actually, maybe we'll leave that yellow. So that's sorted there. These guys have all got power. Everybody in here is cooking. But the computer factories are down. Or no, just this one. Because I have to roughly power this from here. We will make that pretty when we know what's happening down this end. The better question is, what can you even run with just 1,500? 90% of my planet is idle and I'm still st um, sucking up 50, uh, 5k. Yeah, I had like 2,300, so I don't know what's going on. Something is Something got tripped or something failed. I wonder if our power got backed up somehow. Uh, I wonder if my train... It's probably my train no longer dumping stuff that's backed up some of the plastic production. That's probably what happened. I'm probably not... Um, I probably have an awesome sink missing at the other train station. And so it's backed up. The fuel is probably no longer being processed. That would be my guess. But while I'm here, I just wanted to sort this out. Uh, I think that's all of the messy wires gone. I mean, it's a little... It's a little hectic. Um... I might just add one of these guys in here. Just so it doesn't droop. Sandy, thanks so much for your moderation help today. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good evening. have to oh, weird save bump Pretty solid. So that's going to be glass. Two, three, and then a wall. got oh this might be different on the back so we'll just put this in straight and see what we can do I don't remember what I have on the other side I guess I have to look at this here Two and then down by a two meter. This goes down it's, uh, one, two, three.
Now at some point, one, two, three, four. Cool. Don't know what's happening over there. Uh, Hangi Cubed. I'm building a new fuel, turbo fuel, rocket fuel factory. Wow. Um, trying to crunch the numbers and how much compacted coal I will need and want to get on that route. If there's another recipe that I should consider because 600 crude is coming in, works out to be a lot of compacted coal. I, I think t turbo fuel is just a beast. I think it always has been. I've never actually done it myself. I've never actually done it myself. I think that might be something I would try on this playthrough if I was if I was going to continue it. Would be compacted coal. All right, so we can seal up the um, inside there, and it looks like I've got one of those under each one. Only going for that much fuel because you legitimately have a train system in this game and I was going to go for a massive drone network for my logistics right on. I've not done drones either. My other playthrough was crashing when 1.0 came out, so we haven't really done much beyond that. Um, what did I do over here? Right, this could potentially be more windows. goes all the way to here. I don't know what we're going to do with this awesome sink. We might have to do something else with it. Well, that starts to feel a little bit more like a building, doesn't it? Oh no, there's no bother at all, uh, Hangi Cubed. Um, I've yeah, I mean, I've, I've not done that much, and it's really difficult in stream to have like a verbal description of that length and then try to like imagine what you might need. Uh, if the game, I mean, have you thought about just going to the wiki and looking up alternate recipes for triple fuel? Do I have that open? You have several alternate recipes for turbo fuel. You've got turbo blended fuel, turbo, turbo heavy fuel, and turbo fuel. Some raw numbers don't translate into in-game functionality quite the same way as personal experience. Well, I mean, like, the numbers are the numbers on the wiki, if, as long as they're accurate to 1.0. So, petroleum coke, compacted coal, compacted coal. So, you can get away with petroleum coke. There's no compacted coal in, at all in that recipe, but it depends on how much sulfur you want to use. It looks like the one that you want is just the regular turbo fuel recipe. It uses the least amount of compacted coal. You're 15 per minute. Yeah. Yeah, the regular 
the regular turbo fuel. What I would do, if you haven't already, check out I'm Kibitz on YouTube. He just built a giant turbo fuel plant and he's like using the turbo fuel and the diluted packaged fuel. Oh yeah, sometimes the best throughput isn't the most practical. I do that all the time. I like, it might say like you need, you know, 7.6 machines. And I'm just like, I'm gonna build 10 or I'm gonna build eight or I'm gonna build nine. Like just if my room if my room looks better with three links of like three rows of three, I'm gonna do that and I'll underclock two machines. I'd rather have it look good than than stick to like really like weird numbers. Alright, let's finish off the side of this here. So I've got the right shape there. I I think I like the wider opening. That's the roof sticking out. That's cool. A little bit of detail. All of this is going to get replaced because I don't like these door, the rep repetition of the door thing either. Oh, no problem, uh, Hangy Cube. No problem. Stop by anytime. Hope to see you again. And so I just did that square. Goes down to this roof line. And that's all filled in. So... This goes down to there. I'm not sure what's faster. Switching your main color or painting things later. I don't think that was yellow over here, was it? No, this whole section is two sections of black. Oh, I've already got it painted the right color. It's just that it's so dark I couldn't see it. So this would probably be where the stairwell would be if we wanted to do it. I think I need to move this stuff again. I should probably do this down there. Maybe we'll just move the whole thing down there. This is why the hover pack is so much, so much fun. This constructor.
That's got power coming in from there. We'll just stick this maybe here. Right from the source. And then Caterium, Quick Wire, Sorted. Uh, belt Speed 60, 45 to 15. And this is just doing. I should just dial this back down to. 45. Use up a lot less power. That's all going to go in there. And I will just transfer a bunch of this. Oh, hover pack the joys. Makes me remember just how quickly I was able to set up the details in Devastator. Because it's such a big build. Oh, I need to get rid of this stuff here for sure. I guess that's the edge. And I'll worry about that later. Cool. Okay, so that gets all that out of the way. Everything in here is moving. It's not lit very well. Although, it's not terrible. I, do, I want some softer lights out here. I think I might have to do um, a recessed signs. Like maybe one there and one there would be good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, night is falling. And I need to take a short break. Grab my train. Doesn't look like it's nearby, so we'll build one. Timetable. Uh, Mirage. Wheeljack. Cool. Once again, folks, I take a short break once an hour. It is that time. I'll be back in about, uh, I'm going to need about 10 minutes. So just give me a little bit. I'll be right back.
I'm actually going to stick on this train because I want to see what's going on with our power. I feel like it's messed up ever since I changed the, um, the Mirage train. I think that's, that's the issue. Man, this is going to look a lot cooler once we get the other half of Sunstreaker in there. It's going to look a lot more interesting. When I mirror these two big black pillars on the other side. Thank you, Cosmic. Much appreciated. weird effect on the water. I really like the water on this side. I know it's even prettier on the northern coast. The Spire Coast. Very turquoise. I guess we can delete a lot of these um, towers as well, too. added in the right stops here, have I? So my guess is that our power is backed up. Well, the plastic's not backed up. So why... As our power dropped. I wonder if I disconnected something. Yeah, we've got... What's going on there? Capacity is only at 1,500. Are these guys not working? No, they're all going. That seems like it's on a different grid. No. It's all being powered by the train station, and the train station's the main grid. So one thing I know I'm missing out here is a drop for from grapple to mirage. I did not finish this the other day. So we will have to do that. longer than I thought it was going to be. So I have to copy what I did on this other side, I guess. So 
because oh I see halfway up I guess that's just going to be where it is. And then where does it stop at the top? Probably halfway from the top. Oh. That's not right. Now we just have to get from here to there. And honestly, it's probably going to be the easiest thing just to switch out over down here. So this will be... We're going over... Uh, one, two, so we'll have to go up one, two. At least I think so. Nope. Maybe it's three. Maybe it's four. That is ridiculous. Everything needs, needs such a wide berth. And it would probably make sense to have a hover track thing over here. Hmm. This would probably end up being a structure. Probably put the hover pad right there. Oh, I don't have enough to build it. Okay, well, we'll just paint this blue. So now there should be a way to get onto that track. I, however, just need to make sure this is a different block. Why does that not work? I 
That's fine. So why are these... Why is this wrong? Trying to separate out the block? Just not letting me. That's dumb. I guess maybe this has to be a path signal? Nope. Alright, it works that way. It shouldn't. I should have to cut that off. It's not going to be a big deal, but... Alright, that should shorten the trip. What I don't understand is why we're not making enough power. So I wonder if something happened to my coal? Somehow? Because we only have this many fuel generators. There's no other fuel generators anywhere else. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we're only using six because this one is non. And that's at 100%. So we've got six at 100%. Yeah, it feels like my coal power must have shut off somehow. I must have deleted a connection to the coal power plant. That's doing 333. 250. So we've got 250 times 5 plus... 233, 1483, plus the boost. Oh, our boost's not working. Yeah, I've cut this off from the other grid. Somehow I've cut this off from the other grid. So I need to go connect this back up again. I'm sure I probably cut something around the base. Because the power augmenter, this should be on the main grid. So I probably deleted something. When and where, though? I don't remember doing anything in the distance. I might have been deleting foundations, maybe? Hmm. Weird. Everything over there is powered, which means that it must be on the other grid. all connected. I should probably route this a better way through the base. Yeah, you're not on. Oh, you are. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is on a separate 1540. 
because the consumption is different. So how you're connected there. Did I disconnect the train station somehow? That's what I did. This is not connected to... Yeah, this is not connected over here anymore. Don't remember where and how I changed that. Uh, I guess we'll do it over here. I probably moved this. Probably what I did. That should bring us all together. There we go. 320. That's more like it. Plus, we get a power boost. So that what it, that's what it was. The train network was not connected to the home base network. So now it's all the same. Good, 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 good. I was like, there can't be anything wrong with the coal plant. My gosh. We haven't touched that in ages. Ages. Now we just have to go. Uh, it is a full one, two, three foundations. So from this one here, it goes over to two foundations. I feel like I've got more space on the other side. No, it's just it's deeper. goes in by one. It would appear that you do indeed have the, and I cannot stress this enough power, again. <laughs> now you fixed it. This sounded better in my head. <laughs> Thanks very much, Cosmic. They need a He-Man sticker. They need a He-Man sticker. Right? That seems odd. Well, that comes out farther there. Yeah, this is going to get deleted here. And we can switch back to the hover pack too. So technically, I'm going to put this in just for symmetry. I'm probably not going to do it. So we've got this goes back to standard. One, two, three. I should be able to pull a little bit from the train tracks as well. 
Right, I've got these big back black pillars here, and I'm not entirely sure those are going to be there. I'm going to work out how this is going to go on this side. Uh, and then it's... I'll just go one, two, three down. And it goes out again. But it's a four meter wall instead, I think. Yeah, this changes a lot of what I was planning on this side. I don't mind having stuff on the outside. It's fine. Let's see, so from here we go down two and then it comes back out by one. Down two, out by one. Two, three, and then the front of that thing. So right now that's sticking out of the roof. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I also don't know if we're going to keep this. I don't think I need a staircase on this side too. Uh, it does help with the wall though, so we have to do something. It just might not be this high. And I also want to think about what this might look like from down below. kind of cool. So this is actually going to be a much more sturdier support for this. I've got one, two, three foundations. If that all lines up, I've got a half foundation there. So this might actually be set up a little bit different. Put these in temporarily. I'd like to have this kind of track floating. Because then I also have this thing. Too deep. And that's off by one. Oh, that's not what I want. Sort of looks cool, but not right here. It's neat that you can cover all this kind of stuff up if you really want to. Yeah, so this is actually going to have to be, I think, supportive. Hmm. I was thinking that would be the support, but it looks like this is going to have to be the support.
So that means that window is not going to be nearly as big as I thought. I was really hoping it was going to be a lot taller. I may still be able to work with it, but we'll have to see. I think the outside and the other side is just straight up. Uh, Dunraff says I had a lot of fun with trains and plans and I ended up needing to kill the train plan, entirely save, uh, and then re recreate it. Uh, yeah. Trains is a lot of trial and error when you're first starting out. Um, Total Eclipse is a great creator to watch for train stuff. One, two, three, four from that piece, but then also there are roof one meters in there. So yeah, this is really going to drop the window from like here to there. It's really cool how close we are to the moth. I thought Manta. Moon Manta? I think Moon Manta is the, the name we gave it. I think they call it a moth in the game, but... The freedom of the hover pack is just ridiculous. That's unfortunate. I really was hoping for a bigger window down here. That's cool. Wonder if we can mimic that on the other side. That's probably gonna be black there. So this is where we can maybe mess around with it a little bit and get a little bit different with the... Because this could be a wider window, maybe. Maybe these could be glass. No. Well, uh, maybe. A little bit better. I don't know about this. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the support come from that. And then we'll beef that up a little bit to make it look a little bit better. Uh, now inside, this is where the stairwell and everything happens. And of course on this end, we've got the smelters in here. So this is where copying what we've done is really not going to help us. We're just going to have to come up with something new. Um, for now, we're just going to block it off.
I do prefer the black, like the bold black of the concrete compared to the walls. So we'll have to see if we can get that in there as well. I think we have to do something different with the windows. Obviously in the wrong spot. Is the roof too wide over there? No, it's just the one. That doesn't go there. This drops down in the front. So I'm really not sure about these chunky bits. So inside now, that should be the same as the other side. I've not finished everything, but the form should be well, we're missing some pieces in here. How am I going to get this connected here? I guess I have to just drop in one of these. Get rid of this now. And I don't know if I like that window. I guess it works better with those. Maybe here we could switch to these guys. It's kind of a neat effect with the open part here. I just realized that this is all going to be open to the air. Uh, if I want to see the train. 
So I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm now wondering if we, like, do we need to put a ceiling on this? I just, I really like, not that you're going to see it a lot, but I just think that looks cool. But if I put a ceiling on it, you're not going to see that. I don't mind the open to the air thing. Reach for the sky, the moon meant to fly by. Wow, we haven't just had that in a while. So we will figure out the rest of this. How do I do that? It's just straight up corner piece. Probably looking at least a little bit better. Looks a little bit less like a cat now. Was good. But these don't feel supported, right? Like they don't feel. Is I gonna have to put something underneath these? But this is where I think we could probably have some fun with the... Supports, I guess? Want to go that far back? Probably. So maybe these aren't there at all. And maybe I bring back that concrete pillar idea. Oh, maybe we have to make those concrete I feel like that's cooler I almost want to make these have like the same same look hmm Upside down ramp. There we go. All oh, right, they don't let us do that. So I know that this is the same color and you can't really see, but if we change this to like a gray, we could have it kind of overlap not quite the color I would want but there'd be like a little bit of depth there if we wanted 
You really can't see. Ooh, that looks good. That connects there quite well. And then we could have this be a little bit more structural. Hmm. Maybe this is where we can start to layer things in. This might have to get thicker. So if we change this, change the materials, then we might be able to add in the same sort of layering that we did over here. Right, with that. So that is actually, I feel like that's carbon something, carbon steel. Um, I think if we layer this in, that could be fun. We've actually made a lot of progress on this today. Pretty happy with that. Right, and then we can have the upside down one. Don't know if I want that to connect. Hmm, maybe. Oh, that's not going to work there. Yeah, right. Right, 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 right. I do like that shape, but I need to do something a little bit more with it. I like that too, so I'll probably repeat that on this side. I guess for this, I could just go up here 
with the proper pieces, couldn't I? Rather than having to overlap stuff. Yeah, that's out. That's not happening. I feel like that maybe has to be flat, and it might be better off being flat. need to sort that out so that it's together. Yeah, I'm not sure about that piece now. I prefer it that's weird. Yeah. Um, hmm. Why can't I go up? There we go. So what I would like to do here is something more like this. So maybe we eliminate these parts. And remove... Make this a 2 meter. Oh, no. I guess I need to do two of these and a flat one. That's what I need. Feels like it's more on with the design, and I guess what's missing here is just this extra bit here. And then we need another one of these. It does add a cool shape to the window. from up here. Feels kind of abrupt and this looks like it sticks out in a funny way. Hmm. I think I might have to bump 
Yeah, I don't know how to do this. It's tricky the way that the walls overlap sometimes. I almost want to add like another black one there. But then this feels very strange. When the sky is purple and dark, for a break you must embark. Cosmic, that is terrible. I can't believe you programmed those words to come out of my mouth. Yuck! <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I need to go. I need to wrap things up. It is dinner time for me. Uh, it's also kind of dark and we're working with a lot of black here, so it's kind of difficult to sort it out, uh, so to speak. Also, it looks a little bit unsupported here so yeah I may have to think about this a little bit more but uh, that is where we're gonna wrap that up with the autosave we have the jetpack we are almost all the way through tier 7 which is great and uh, we thought we had a power problem but now we do not and I'm really happy with the way things have come together it's pretty cool actually Whoa! I did not expect that. <laughs> that was wild. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks very much for hanging out, folks. We're going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. I'm going to see who's live right now. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to throw them in the chat. And uh, I will point you towards joelduggan.com where you can find links to my social media. You can find links to things like the Spawn Chunks podcast, and you can find links to the other bits of support like Patreon. If you want to check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, it's one of the best ways to support your favorite streamers. It's only $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee. You get to join the Discord. You get to hang out with us in between streams. Uh, there's a fair amount of people in there. Uh, crossover from the Citadel Cafe podcast Discord, which is my other podcast all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And you can, of course, check out the Spawn Chunks podcast. And I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. So yeah, one o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus three hours until the time change in November. And we will be doing more Satisfactory, probably picking up where we left off. I'm looking around. I don't see anybody playing Satisfactory that I'm familiar with. Uh, ammunition we rated yesterday. Let's try somebody new. Let's try Imperial Jedi. That sounds like a good spot for all of my sci-fi fans. And uh, once again, I'll have to raid and run, but you can enjoy the rest of your satisfactory day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.